expected values of discrete random variables. So, what do you mean by this one? Okay. An understanding of an event's expected value can help us make better decisions. Okay? Especially in decisions that are depend on chance, like investments, business, deci uh, business decisions, and much more. Okay? So that's expected values. In a, game of ch in a games of chance, the game is considered fair if the participant can even out the winnings and the losses. Okay? So expected values of discrete random variables, the mean or expected value, another term for the mean is expected value of a discrete random, uh, random variable x is okay, mu sub x is equal to the summation of x, meaning you just simply get the product of its value and its corresponding probability. Okay? It's the same as how do we get the mean of our previous discussion. So same thing, because mean, another term for that is expected value. So to solve for the expected value or the mean, of that particular problem, you just simply get the product of your value and its corresponding probability. Okay, so that's how we solve for the expected values. Okay, so actually, it is the weighted mean of the values of a random variable x, and the probabilities are the weights. Okay, so the mean of a random variable x is measure of the center of the possible values of random variable x. The mean need not to be one of its mass points. So what is the application of expected value? Okay, let's try to examine number one example. The student council is planning a raffle as a fundraiser. A raffle ticket costs 100 pesos and they plan to sell it, they plan to sell 2,500 tickets. A ticket drone in a raffle will win 100,000. Is this raffle considered fair for a person who bought a ticket? Okay, so how do we answer that? So to answer that one, first we need to identify the expected value. Okay, the expected value. So how do we do that? First, let X be the net proceeds that a ticket holder can get. Okay, let X be the net proceeds that a ticket holder can get. Okay, so X that will be 99,900. And then the other one, the value will be 99,900. And then the other one is negative 100. The question is, why is it the value is 99,900? And then the other one is negative 100. So what do you mean by negative 100 there? What do you mean by that one? What do you mean by that one? You're negative 100. What do you mean by that? What's negative 100? What is negative 100? What do you mean by negative 100? Can anyone? What is your uh, insight? What's your idea about one? What is negative 100? The values are negative 100 and 99,900. Why is it negative 100? Because how much is the cost of the ticket? 100. Okay, 100. If a person bought a ticket, okay, that the, the cost is 100, so the probability of getting negative 100, that is 200, uh, 2,499 over 2,500. Means why is it the probability of getting negative 100 is 2,499 out of 2,500? Because, because of what? Okay, okay, out of, out of 2,500, there is only one ticket. Okay, na pwedeng manalo. Next, what about the 99,900? What is 99,900? Hmm? What is 99,900? What is 99,900? Anyone? And the probability of getting 99,900, that will be 1 over 2,500. Okay? What, why, what do you mean by 1, 1 over 2,500? Meaning, in a 2,500 tickets, merong isa lang mananalo, right? Right? And then the 99,900, that is your winning price because you already deducted 100 pesos because the cost of the ticket is 100. So yung napalantunan mo na lang ay 99,900, okay? That's the explanation of your classmate a while ago, okay? Now, to solve for the expected value, how do you solve for the expected value? You just multiply 99,900 by 1, 1 over 2,500 plus negative 100 multiplied by 2,499 over 2,500, okay? So your expected value is negative 60 pesos. Miss, what do you mean by negative 60 pesos? Meaning, this means that the average a person expects to lose is 60 pesos whenever he she buys a ticket, okay? Whenever she or he or she buys a ticket, he will lose a 60 pesos, okay? 
So, so 100 pesos na, na ticket, meron siyang 60 pesos, uh, he will uh, lose 60 pesos in the 100 pesos na cost ng ticket. So, that's the meaning of that one. Okay? Eh, how much naman yung winning kapag may 100 pesos ka? Meaning, the average loses is 60 pesos per ticket, 2,500 ticket. What about the, the, the winning? The winning. Meron kang 40 pesos for the winning. Okay? So, yung natalo mo, 60 pesos, yung napalunan mo, 40 pesos. Okay? Unless, you will bought the 2,500 tickets. Okay? Walang kawala. Okay? Win or lose, there's a guarantee that you can, you can have the 100,000 if you bought the whole thing. Okay? But if you bought one ticket only, that costs 100, so you do have 60 pesos loses. So that is expected value. Another example. Okay, I'll give you another example. A student organization is raising funds by selling 300 raffle tickets raffle tickets worth 20 pesos each the soul lucky winner of this raffle will receive a prepaid cell phone card worth 1,000 pesos. Okay. What is your expected value? Okay. So what will be your expected value or expected net okay, net gain if you buy one raffle ticket? Okay. So what is your expected value or net gain if you buy one raffle ticket? Okay. So again, Number two example, a student organization is raising a fund by selling 300 raffle tickets worth 20 pesos each. The sole lucky winner of this raffle will receive a prepaid cell phone card worth 1,000. What is your expected value or net gain if you buy one raffle ticket? Okay, so how do we answer this one? Okay, first, let X be the amount to be one. So let x be amount to be one. Okay. So we have a table. Okay? So we have a table. So let x be the amount to be one. So based on the problem, how much they will receive if they won their raffle ticket? How much? Let x be the amount to be one. So how much they will receive if they won the ticket? How much is the year price? If they won the ticket, according to the problem, they will receive 1,000 or nothing. Okay? 1,000 or nothing. Why is it? What's the, what's the logic behind that? Let X be the amount to be won. So it can be 1,000 or nothing. Meaning, what do you mean by that? Meaning, meaning what? What is 1,000 and zero? 1,000, okay, this will be, this will be uh, receiving by the winner, uh, a winner person, okay? For the person who won the uh, raffle ticket, they, he will be receiving 1,000 or nothing, okay? Winning, losing. Next, so what is the probability of getting 1,000? What is the probability of getting 1,000? Because the winning price is 1,000, so what's the probability of getting 1,000? The organizer will sell how many tickets? Based on the problem, how many tickets? They will sell 300 tickets. So what is the probability of getting 1,000? They will sell 300 tickets. So what's the probability of getting 1,000 as the winning price? As the winning price, what's the probability of getting 1,000? If the fundraiser or the organizer sell 300 tickets. So what's the probability of be being, the win uh, be being the winner? Miss 1 over 300. Okay, 1 over 300. Very good. Next. So what is the probability that you you're losing the the raffle draw? If the probability of getting one thousand is one over three hundred, what about nothing? 
Meaning, you aren't a winner. So what's the probability of getting zero? Meaning, nothing. You will be losing the raffle ticket. So what's the probability? There are 300 tickets to be sell. Isa lang doon yung pwedeng manalo. So you do have 1 over 300. So ano naman yung probability na hindi ka mananalo? It's 299. Okay, very good. 299 over 300. Okay, now, how do we solve for the expected value? Solve for the expected value. How do we do that? How do we solve for the expected value? To solve for the expected value, same as the mean. How do we solve for the expected value? To solve for the expected value, just simply multiply the uh, given value and its corresponding probability. So you do have 1,000 multiplied by 1 over 300 plus 0 multiplied by 299 over 300. So how much is your winning money? 10 over 3 or 3.33. Okay, 3.33. So what is what do you mean by 3.33? What do you mean by 3.33? What is the worth of the ticket? Ano yung worth ng ticket? How much is the ticket? How much is the ticket? The ticket is 20 pesos. Okay? So the ticket is 20 pesos. So if you buy a ticket, one ticket, meron kang 3 pesos na pwedeng pala uh, mag-gain. Okay? Doon sa 20 pesos, meron kang 3 pesos na pwedeng mag-gain. What about yung loses? If you buy a ticket na worth 20 pesos, what about yung loses? Magkano yung natatalo mo dun sa 20 pesos? Magkano yung natalo mo dun sa 20 pesos? If you're not a winner. If you're not a winner, magkano yung napat napat napatalo mo sa 20 pesos? If you're not a winner, ha? How much? Dun sa 20 pesos na binayad mo, magkano yung napatalo mo? 16 something. Okay? Kung hindi ka winner, so nalugi ka ng 16 pesos. Okay? But if you're a winner, so, so you gain 3 pesos. So that's the meaning of expected value. Okay? Loses and then gaining. So that's the meaning of expected value. Okay? Any more question? Another example? Suppose Suppose an urn contains 100 identical Sealed envelopes. Ten of these envelopes contain 300 pesos each. Okay. Next, 20 contain 100 each. And the rest are empty. You get one envelope from the urn and if from the urn, if any of the envelope, what would be a uh, fair price to get the uh, chance of select selecting an envelope from this urn. Okay? Suppose an urn contains 100 identical envelope, identical sealed envelopes. 10 of these contain 300, 20 of these 100, and then the rest are empty. Okay? So what would be the uh, fair price to get the chance of selecting an envelope from this urn? So when we say, what would be the fair price you're referring to the expected value? Okay? Expected value. Remember when we say expected value, you're, you're dealing with chances. Okay? So we need to solve for the expected value. So how do we do that? First, you need to come up with a table, probability distribution table. So let x be the amount inside the uh, selected envelope. So we have x and then probability of the given value. Okay. So what are the amount? Let x be the amount inside the selected envelope. So what are those? So we have 300 pesos, 100 pesos, and then nothing. Okay. The rest is empty. 
the rest of the envelope is empty. So meaning nothing. Nothing's there. So we have 300 pesos, 100 pesos, and then zero. So what is the probability of getting 300? Suppose an urn contains 100 identical sealed envelopes. 10 of these contain 300 pesos, 20 of these contain 100, then the rest are empty. Okay? Now, so what is the probability of getting 300? Out of 100. Okay, so you have 10 over 100 because there are 10 envelopes with 300 pesos. Now, next, what about 100? 1 over 5. 1 over 5 or that will be 20 over 100. Am I right? Yes, yes. Okay, what about nothing? Zero. Empty. 70 over 100. Okay, 70 over 100. Why is it? Why is it 70? Yes, kasi po 100 po yung total envelopes. Okay, very good. Now, we need to determine the uh, price or the expected volume. So how do we solve for the expected volume or the price? So what would be the price or the expected volume? How do we solve that? Just simply multiply. So you do have 300 multiplied by 10 over 100 plus 100 multiplied by 20 over 100 plus 0 multiplied by 70 over 100. So what would be your expected value or the price? Okay, so, okay 50 pesos. Okay, 50 pesos. Meaning, what do you mean by that one? What do you mean by that one? Ano yung ibig 50 pesos? What do you mean by 50 pesos? Meaning? Meaning what? Meaning what? What would be the fair price to get the chance of selecting an envelope from this urn? So, meron kang 50 pesos price in each urn selecting. Okay? So, let's say, for example, you choose the uh, first envelope, you made 300. So, meron kang 50 pesos na price. Okay? In selecting 100, ganun din. Meron kang 50 pesos. So, the, the uh, 50 pesos, which uh, fair price to pay to be able to select one envelope from the urn? So that is 50 pesos. Which fair price to pay to be able to select one envelope uh, from the urn? So that's the meaning of 50 pesos. Okay? So that's how we solve expected value. Okay? Again, when we say expected value, the mean or expected value of discrete random variable actually is the weighted mean of the values of a random variable x and its probability are the weights. Okay? So in short, when we say expected values, in games of chance, the game is considered fair if the participant can even out the winnings and then the loses. So that is expected values of discrete random variables. Okay? 